Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to talk to you about task priorities. So what I'm going to do is create a couple of tasks and then have a look at the priorities and see how they work. So if I just do task A and task B. So if I make these both one day duration and double click onto task A, by default, when you create a task, the priority is set at 500. Now that can change from 500, any any number between one and a thousand. So a thousand would mean this task is more important than a task with a priority of 500, say. Now normally, you have to come up with some sort of rationale for setting numbers. I don't suggest that you go one, two, three. I would recommend that you do it in groups. Maybe engineering tasks are 600, which means they're more important than admin tasks, which you might set at 400, for example. Uh, keeping tasks in a set group like that would make it easier for a project to manage resource leveling. So this is all to do with leveling resources, which is on the resource tab, and you can see it there, and I'll show you how it works in a minute. So just changing this and doing nothing other than that doesn't actually do anything. It can be used um, as a management tool if you like. You can insert the, this priority field so you can see it in your table, um, but it's just going to be a number. You could sort by it and filter by it, and it would be useful like that, but it wouldn't actually do anything to the, the order that these tasks go. So if I change this one to 600, so this now will be more important than task B, and then click OK. So at the moment, nothing nothing is going to happen. If task B, if I just double click on task B, that's still at 500. Now, if I create a resource, well, I've already created one, Bob. If I add Bob to this task A and B, so I'll highlight them both, assign resources and assign Bob. So Bob is over allocated. So one of the tools that you have in Microsoft Project is resource leveling, which I've just pointed out there. Now, when you resource level, you've got three, if I go into leveling options, you've got three different options of leveling. That one there says ID only, which basically is talking about the order of, that it is in the list. So you can force it to look at the, the number order. So therefore, one goes first, followed by two. Standard, which is the default, basically checks first off the predecessor dependencies, any slack, dates, priorities, which is what we're talking about here, if you've changed the priority, and constraints before it decides whether this task should be leveled or not. And then you've got the op option at the bottom, which says priority and then standard so it's still doing all those things in standard but the priority bit of standard is going first so you're basically giving it a bit more importance by doing that so i'll leave this on standard and you can see what's going to happen so click ok to that and then i just i'm just going to level resource if i level all because only one resource and it moves the second task if i want to give a higher priority to task B, that will force the top task A to move and not B. So if I'll do that, I'll just double click onto task B and I'll put that to 600. So when I level now, now what should happen is the top task should move because if I double click into A just to check, that's still on 500. So this now is a bit more important. So level all. Now the top one's moved because that's got a higher priority than that and that's what it does so whichever one's got the higher priority is more important than the one with the lower priority put that back to 600 now if i put that to a thousand you're basically telling the computer not to move at all so you might have a few other tasks with different brackets or ranges of um, priorities, say 600, 800, or 400. If you've got one at, one at a thousand or a few at a thousand, they're not going to move at all because you're basically saying that is set in stone. Don't move, don't level. I click OK to that, and then that one is set as it was. Now, if I go down to task usage, 
in task usage when you uh, double click on a resource you can you can see the information there but it doesn't actually tell you what the priority of the task is because this is the assignment information so if you wanted to see the priority in this view you would have to insert that column so if I do that if I just type P to get to the P's and then click on priority you can see that that priority there and if you wanted to change that you could double click into the task and change it there or you could change it on um, the Gantt chart view but whatever you change it to you can't change it on, on the resource it's got to be done on the task so if I change that to 640 say when I click away that's changed to 640 and what I was talking about earlier where you can use this if you're not using it in leveling terms which I am but if you wanted to you can obviously if you had different ranges of priorities you could then filter these and then maybe do something with those tasks if you're going to use that as a management tool so that's basically what the priority is and if I go back to the Gantt chart you can see how that sits there and if I level it um, it just moves that bottom one now because this is at 600 you can also add that priority column there obviously if you wanted to so you, people that are not familiar with project can see that there's a difference there and you can um, manage your work flow if you like through whatever priority is listed so that's all I wanted to talk about in this little video just how to set the priority and what it does and how it affects resource leveling and what it's checking the order it's checking um, when it's doing standard or just ID only or priority and standard so hopefully that was of use thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one